Hello everyone, welcome back to Magic the Gathering Arena, playing Quick Draft Crimson Vow, which is what's in vogue at the moment. And uh, this first pick is a little tough. Like, I think Inspired Idea is fine, right? Like, it's not insane, but it's pretty good. Um, the rest, like, I don't know. I'm not that impressed by any of this, really. Like, the Mariner's okay. Flame Blessed Bolt is probably choice number two. What does the draft guide think of Inspired Idea? It's okay, right? Doesn't like it that much. Likes the Flame Blessed Bolt better, but I'm taking the idea. It's ex I don't know. Removal is good. You should take removal. Fine, you got me. Ugh. I mean, it's a land, but... Hmm. Soul Cipher Board is okay. Fleeting Spirit is also fine. Traveling Minister is quite good, actually. Maybe we... I mean, red and white is pretty aggressive. We have these two cheap, good tempo cards. I don't know. I mean, yeah, this is good in red-white, right? You use it to get in... Make your all of your attackers better. It, it gains you life, which doesn't matter as much in red-white. But it, it's still a useful effect to make your other features stronger. I mean, a 2-mana 3-1 is probably also really good if that's the deck if you're trying to build red-white aggro. Right? Hmm. Okay, fine. We get another Minister offer. There's a lot of good stuff here, actually. The Lantern Bear is good. The Scavenger is good. Reckless Impulse is okay. Anger would be okay for the red-white deck. I think I'm just going to take a creature. Another Soul Cipher board. Beguiler is a bit slow. I feel like I've seen a lot of good blue stuff go by. Maybe I should be taking like Soul Cipher board just to stay open to that. There's nothing here I much want in red or white, so I should be branching out. Yeah, let's take it. Reckless Impulse is okay. Vampire Slayer is okay. Um, not really any reason to take blue here, I think, or black. I'll just take Impulse, I think. Voldar and Epicure is fine. Binding Geist lets you attack more, but I don't want to be in blue, really. Okay, Infantry is a great card for white aggro. Uh... I mean, there's a few good choices here, I think. Nurturing Presence is fine. Supernatural Rescue is okay. I think this is kind of the deck for it, even though we won't necessarily have any spirits. You know, tap a couple things, get in for extra damage, right? I don't know. Nurturing Presence is just a lot cheaper and easier to play and should be fine. Okay, I mean, this is the Radiant Grace deck, I guess. If you're going to run it in anything, you run it in this. Piercing Light isn't especially good, but small combat tricks are cool. I'm a little bit tempted by Bloody Betrayal. Yeah, no one's taking these blue cards. We could take another Soul Cipher board, but I definitely want one of these two. They're fine. Um, take a Betrayal, I think. Get in some more damage. Vampire Slayer came back. That's not bad. We've got a decent blue sideboard as well. Lantern Flare. It's a red-white cleave spell. 
Yeah, that should be quite good. Panic Bystander is okay. Heron of Hope is quite good. Well, it's a bit expensive, actually, for this deck. It's about lifelink. Like, yeah, it's it's a flyer, but... I mean, the Minister's fine. But I think we take the Lantern Flare. Imprisonment over a 4-drop. I mean, I don't know. I guess there's Flame Blessed Bolt as well. And Sure Strike. Okay, there's a lot to consider in this pack, actually. There's numerous perfectly good cards here. Even the Menace creature is not bad, but I'd rather have one of the three removal spells. I think Sigardia's Imprisonment is a little bit like, meh, well, uh, you know. If I'm going to be attacking a lot, Sure Strike should work pretty well. It'll, it'll let me, like, attack with my creatures rather than hold them back is kind of the idea. Yeah, let's take that. Bride's Gown. Don't want it. <laughs> Splash another Dormant Grove? I don't think so. Ah, uh, the knife? I mean, it wouldn't be bad to have some top end. But the knife... I, I'm, I'm, I quite like a knife. Mm, Epicure, I guess? No, Trainee is fine. You know, I'm not playing like humans or something, but I I would like to gain training counters. Sure, I'll take another infantry. Don't really want a Donhard Geist or a Sanctify. I'll take a sure strike this time. Anger or another Radiant Grace? I don't even really like... I mean, it's not a good spell. It could be okay in this deck, maybe. I think I'll just take Anger. You know, it's kind of draw-ish, which I could use a little of, and still useful. Adamant Will looks fantastic. Heron of Hope, I think, is too heavy for this deck. It would be nice to have it as kind of a, you know, evasive finisher, but this is also great in that role. Nice, nice. Don't really want a statue. I don't think I want a Raconteur. I think I'm probably just taking a Flame Blessed Bolt here, right? There's Toxrill. What a card. There's just no way I can play this, but maybe I draft it for a constructed play? I don't think so. I'll just take the... Well, the Celebrants are also potential finisher, like another... But no, I, I just want Flame Blessed Bolt. I don't want to play a five mana card. Okay, Alluring Suitor is great. Everything else here is pretty meh. Another Bolt, or another Infantry, another Reckless Impulse, a Celebrant. I think these are all fine. Is the Minister actually good? I think it is. Making... God, I can't believe I'm passing a, a Felstinger and a Bramble Worm after passing a Toxrill. Like, what the heck? These cards are insane. It's just, I'm, I don't... I obviously have... It's obviously right not to take them. I'm just kind of mad I didn't get them when I wanted to run them, you know? Um, this, this is a tough pick. There's just a lot of really good things you could take here. And I'm thinking some about like what I'm gonna cut. 
which is why I was thinking about whether the traveling minister is good. Is Radiant Grace good? Probably not. I don't care that much about Vigilance. You know, their stuff entering tapped is kind of cool, but let's get rid of that, I guess. We're obviously not running 17 lands. Is is this like a 15 land deck or just just a boring old 16? Like we have a, f we sort of have some draw, right? We have Reckless Impulse, we have an Anger, we have a Knife, and we have these Disturb Infantry cards. I don't think I should run 15 lands. So it's like 16. So that means I have room for three more cards if I'm not cutting anything. I think I want a two drop, but there's like all these cards are two drops. I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to just take another bolt. Yeah, let's try that. Third bolt is fine, I guess. Uh, nothing? End the festivities? Surely not, right? I don't, I don't think this is any good. Wait, why am I? Yes, I don't want it. That means I should not draft it. Not that I should draft it and then sideboard it. Um, I mean, I think Piercing Light is the pick here. It's not very good. Uh, sure Strike I'm perfectly happy with. A Trainee is fine. The Epic here is also fine, but I don't think I want it more than those other two cards. Ten creatures. I have a lot of instants now, huh? I mean, they're all good, right? They're all, like, small removal. I can get rid of the Ancestral Anger, I guess. Run like another Sure Strike. Or just another Epic here so that I have more attackers. I think I have a lot of removal. I think Sure Strike number three is probably a bad idea. I want to make sure I can like actually play creatures. Another Epic here is fine. Markov Retribution could be playable as a finisher. I'm not going to run it, but I'll draft it just in case. Uh, another Epicure. An Unholy Efficient. A Shield Breaker. These are all fine. Maybe I can run 15 lands <laughs> if I... I cut the anger, and I'm taking more one drops. And if I don't take this guy, yeah. So if I take, but I take one of these one drops. I think the blood token is maybe more exciting. Well. I guess one point is like the. You know, I have blood tokens, right? A fair number of them. Maybe that's a reason that I shouldn't run so few lands. Is like, the point of blood tokens is to smooth you out so you get like the number of lands that you want. And if I only have 15, it's going to be tough. I'm going to be spending mana on like discarding spells to draw lands sometimes, which feels bad. I think maybe 16 lands is better. I could cut like, I don't know, Vampire Slayer? It's not really the kind of two drop this deck wants. Or Nurturing Presence. I think Nurturing Presence is pretty good though. Let's cut the Vampire Slayer and just put in another one drop. I 
Okay, Daybreak Celebrance is pretty good. Reckless Impulse is fine. Okay, so we have some cutting to do. I am a little bit like, what if I did just run 15 lands? But I think I took so many, like, blood token making cards, right? I have the four epicures, I have a knife, I have a bloody betrayal, I have two draw cards. Maybe I can cut bloody betrayal. Like, yes, we're an aggressive deck and we like having a finisher. Um... But I, I don't think it's that amazing as the cards in this deck go. Maybe I could cut one impulse here. Yeah. My average mana cost is so low. I think I'm just going to cut one Epicure and run 15 lands. No, wait. That's the opposite. Um, if I'm running 15 lands, I should be putting more... Right. Leave the Epicure in and actually run 15 lands. And then put something else in as well? Oh, uh, yeah. Heron of Hope is just not good. Maybe Ancestral Anger is all right. I only have one of them though, it's just like not very good. I can take a Radiant Grace. Feels crazy. But getting their stuff to enter tapped is kind of nice, maybe. And I don't want like another impulse when I'm only running 15 lands. Okay, there you go. Three three drops and a four drop. That's the top end of the deck. Well, I have the infantry as well. well. There's nothing I want to cut from the deck, right? I mean, aside from the Radiant Grace, I think the knife is still fine. Even if I don't use the blood, which I hope that I do, it's, um, you know, not horrible as cheap equipment. Okay, we have an opponent. Gold Sugar. Great hand. Got a one drop. I got three lands, which is like a lot for this deck, I think. And I've got removal and who knows what. I kept a minister, right? I'm pretty sure I did. Ooh, opponent plays nothing. Piercing light? No. Okay. I have a blood token and a bolt. Uh, the bolt's not going to work, though. doing this turn if I attack and sure strike I can't no I mean I guess I can play the trainee and then like bolt them I can attack and use two combat tricks to kill this thing, but I'm not excited about doing that. I think I just have to take it easy for a sec. And run out the trainee. 
And if they attack me, fine. I'll bolt them and trade with the Epicure. What is this, mono white? But I don't want to encourage this trade. Okay. I love that they're not attacking. Minister's good. Um, yeah, let's attack with all here then. Planning sure strike if they block, which they s s probably will. Hmm. Maybe piercing light is coming up. Is that what I'm walking into? It is, isn't it? Fierce Retribution, okay. Sad. Yeah. I should have seen that coming. I also should have kept the trainee so that, like, Minister could buff something else and then the trainee could train. Ugh. Dead this game. Double bolt is kind of funny. I guess I'm doing it. Okay, they do have blue. I think I should do it on their turn, right? Maybe use Bolt and um, Piercing Light instead. Yeah, I forgot Fierce Retribution. Of course, that makes way more sense. Because nobody runs Piercing Light. It's not a good card. Whereas everybody runs Fierce uh, Retribution. Actually, yeah. Fourth Land would be pretty good. in very bad shape, obviously. I guess I'm sure striking the one one. No, I'm not. Okay. What's the condition on this? There isn't one. They just have to pay five. Right. In Midnight Hunt, there's one that's like this candle trap, I think, where you have to have Coven. Uh, but that is not this set. I mean, actually, things aren't going that badly. Pwn's only got one card left. I have a decent board. Okay, that's sort of the problem. I can bounce my 2-2, I assume. No, they're just gonna... Really? Okay. This, this screams sure strike, but I have to get the damage in, so. One mana short, right? Uh, no, I mean, if I played the mountain, I'd be one mana short. Because this right now does three? Oh, I needed to do five. Okay.
I mean, this is a disturbed creature, I guess. That, so opponent has more resources than it appears. So they have a good board, and they also have, like, some cards. Flank, you jerk. Good creature. I guess I just play this. Kill their lifelinker and give me something to do with my mana? They get to move the lifelink, of course. But I have removal for that. I'm happy to keep playing lands because each land is like an extra life I gain. I can use this for... Well... Attack with everything, right? Okay, they want to activate that. I wonder if I can wait a minute before I kill something, see what they put this aura on. Because it seems like they're going to want to put it on their flyer, right? Maybe? Yeah, let's just make this a 3-3 three, three for now. And then next turn, I have a big removal slash heal. Okay, putting it on that one. That's a better play, I agree. Just thought they might not do it. Fine. I don't appear to have any blood tokens, so X equals five here. lifelinker. I hate that. <laughs> I forgot. Okay, well, let's just get another removal spell then. Sure. That's really good here. Are they going to counter me? If so, nothing I can do about it, I guess. Are they going to kill something? What's the deal? Okay, bounce it. Fine. Bouncing it saves them a little time. Or buys them a little time, I guess is the word I meant. Geist is pretty big. Hang on. 
I shouldn't necessarily spend red mana so freely because of this guy, right? So, well, I guess I attack with these two. And then I have, I can give them each plus four, plus four. You block, I don't even know how you block. Wow, okay. Or, yeah, plus four, plus four, because I get extra mana here, right? And this one has trample, so I think you block here. about that you got to kill this thing but you are taking a lot of damage okay we got him much longer game than I thought this deck was gonna have for game one I made some mistakes with like how I, don't know, I just feel really bad about the trainee play I guess The fact that they had paused on a previous turn, I should have, like, seen Fierce Retribution coming. And it's just, like, way too committal to attack into that. Well, I don't know. It's committal to attack into that and, like, rely on a combat trick to survive when, like, they could two-for-one you if they have their own combat trick. Um, but when you're the aggressive deck, you, like, kind of have to just play all out sometimes. I don't know if that was such a time. So I think it was probably a bad play, but it's not, like, obviously horrible, is my opinion. Lucky 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, I'd like a third land, but this is fine. If they play a one-drop, I can bolt it. Okay, third land it is. Fourth land even, I don't know about that. I mean, it's gonna let me play a good turn four card, that's cool. If I had two mountains, I probably would double bolt that. Ooh, um, hmm. That's actually really nice. Because it can give itself a buff and train the trainee. So that when the trainee attacks, it doesn't get killed. And if they try to block this, then it's a trade. Too bad I didn't draw that last turn, but... I'll take what I can get, I suppose. Oh, rude! This guy is horrible, by the way. As in, like, extremely strong and I hate him. Okay, uh, well, we swing in here and see what happens. Probably no blocks. Yeah. Adamant Will would have been insane if they had blocked, of course. Oh my god, these cards are so good! No blocks? Double bolt? I mean, just attacking is pretty sweet, right? They're not going to block, right? So, yeah, let's, let's just attack.
I guess I should have been more careful. I just, I'm about to turn it to night, so I maybe should not do that. Um, let's play this for two, and then a bolt for the remainder. Wait, why did it tap? Okay, it should have left red open, but it doesn't matter. Because I'm not going to cast that. Okay, I can bolt the bat if they try attacking with their 3-3. Actually, even if they don't, I can do... Oh my gosh. Um, okay, bolt the bat. Swing adamant will. So, we don't need to Adamant Will now. We can do it when they're about to kill my thing, right? And this way they won't aim at face. Yeah, having I think I drew all four bolts that game, didn't I? And I, I played three of them, is that right? One. No, only three. It felt like I had a hundred of them. I guess the lantern flare was the th the sort of fourth one. Wait, do I even have four bolts or did I cut one? I cut something. Obviously. I actually only have three. Okay. but not because I cut one, I only drafted three. I guess it was four um, Epicures that I have that I considered cutting, but then didn't. Wait, why am I back at the home screen? I guess because I hit home, huh? Oh my god, this is in the deck? <laughs> uh, this is not a good opening. I don't have anything to do until three. Except for a Flame Blessed Bolt. Yeah, get out of here. Fine. Dump a mountain. How exciting. I will happily bolt that. Okay, my hand's like empty practically. Uh, but I still have some stuff left that will be useful. Ooh, a knife, huh? Um, okay. played exclusively one drops well one one mana cards i don't think you can count this as a one drop i don't really know what one drop means but i played five cards and all of them have cost one mana i can't um i can't force them to block with this but i can sort of encourage them not to block at all the problem is this thing is going to go nuts. All right, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna start getting overwhelmed by one ones, which are pretty good against me. Oh yeah, sure. Just just run a Katilda out. No big deal. Torrens and Katilda. Sure. It even has protection from vampires. Are you kidding me? Do I run out to like attack with the minister? Do I go fishing for flame blessed bolt? It's pretty optimistic. I guess I put nurturing presence on the minister. So it's a 2-2, two -two, which is they can't even usefully block. But I'm getting roasted. I mean, that's what happens when you mulligan down to six and then empty your hand, I guess. But I can't deal with all these tokens. And a 3-3 flying lifelink. Only one card in my graveyard, huh? Tilda's not blocking, so we can attack with these. It trades for 1-1s, one but the 1-1s one have training, so it's not nothing. Problem is, like, it, it's not enough, right? Their 2-2 two -two is just going to overwhelm me. You should probably trade flyers. Good news is Fleeting Spirit's suddenly going to turn on. Hmm. They want to keep a trainer on board, I guess? I don't know why I'm still here. It's it's hopeless. I guess I have two sure strikes. You never know what that might do. But like, I, this is exactly what I want the deck to do. It's just opponent is like doing better stuff. I can't complain that I've drawn badly. You know, okay, I only have two lands, but that's all I need. I managed to build some early pressure by attacking with a bunch of one drops and buffing them and stuff. Just turns out opponent is immune to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's just, no sense messing about. Let's get out of here. They had two very strong cards early, and like, yeah, I could have not bolted the Minister, and then I could bolt the Torrens. Wouldn't have been as bad, but I think A, that's a bad play, and B, I would still be toast. This isn't great, but I have like a two drop and some other stuff I can do.
blue-white, so they're probably running spirits as well. Mountain is a great card. Uh, what do we do with it? This is an instant. I mean, we attack with all here, but do I bolt one? Like, do I bolt this first? I don't think so. Why would I do that? I want to have a combat trick in. Well, I don't. Know. I guess they might try blocking here, and I don't know if they do. Oh well, I guess. I want to save my, like, tricks to be in response to theirs. That's a very strange block. This must be some trick, then. That's very, very unlikely to be a good play. Now, I could have used this instead, and then I could play the Epicure, but I think it was... This is a very, like, flexible slash powerful card, whereas the Bolt was perfect right there. Yeah, really... That's a very... Uh, I don't know if it was greedy or desperate. Um, sort of the same thing, in a way. Return that to my hand, okay. Oh, so this doesn't come back transformed. That's kind of funny. What if I chose to kill my thing? They would get this, and I would get back the disturb creature, inst the disturb effect instead of a two-two. I'm pretty sure that's crazy. Just thinking about it. That's all. Great Reckless Impulse, and I can blow their thing up with a Lantern Flare. Lovely to see this. Hang on. Get a little bit more life if I play this first. And I was going to play it anyway, of course, but playing it first made me gain a bit more life because this went off for four. I think we're in a commanding position here, yeah. The game wasn't over, but it was very good for me. And they saw that I had a great play coming up next turn as well. Okay, three and one, right? Not bad. Let's keep it going. Aggro decks gonna aggro. Opponents, please. Okay, we got 
We got a live one. It's Logan GR. Fine hand. I have some two drops, some draw, some removal. What else could you ask for? It's not even bad to bolt that, actually. Stop it from coming back. I guess like it would have been better to do it on my turn. In case they want to play something that's like, when it leaves the battlefield, put it back. But I don't think they would do that. Spirit first, probably? I don't know. Does it matter? Yeah, this one does three damage. The other one does two. What is there to even think about? Hit him in the face. It's unlikely to like actually hit him in the face because they're going to play a three drop or something, but this trades better against three drops than this does. On the other hand, this, if they want to kill it, I care less. So, I don't know. Could, could go either way. Ooh, I was about to just play Reckless Impulse and then if before playing my Mountain or something, but... This, if I play a land and then drop this, it does a ton of damage. Let's go with that. I think they have some removal, so I'm certainly putting the buff on my... Well, actually... Yeah, I'm putting the buff on this one. I'm just not sure, like, if they try to remove the 3-1, would I flicker it? Well, they're not doing it. Hero's Downfall, a 2-2. Alright, I'll, I'll take it. Of course, it was a 4-2 at the moment they downfalled it. Downfell it? Harvester's a good card. It would be nice to have another Bolt at this time. Very happy to have drawn up planes there, actually, because now I can I can play impulse into infantry even if I don't draw a land. Um, and it also means that I can afford to tap like this when I cast impulse, because I can still play it. This way, if I draw, if I reveal a bolt, I can play it, and if I don't, I can play planes in this or something. Impulse is until the end of your next turn, so I have a little while. They don't block because I threaten first strike, obviously. It's a little silly. I don't, not silly. It's a little bit weird to tap out when you have a combat trick face up that you have to use in the next little while. Um, I guess I won't block. Will I? Yeah, I don't think I want this to die. some damage. Swing with everything. I assume they're like letting it in. And then I guess this is just going to rot on the vine. I don't know. Maybe I should have not attacked so that I could block this with adamant will last turn. But I wanted to play this, so... Hmm. Well, okay. I mean, I guess we attack with all and see what happens.
think they're letting it in, right? Anything else would be crazy? Yeah. And it's a pretty short race. How, how does this work? Uh, return to the battlefield at the beginning of the next end step. So if I really wanted to, I could use this after attacking with it to get it back untapped. Yeah, no surprise there. Ooh. Oh man, that's really bad. I guess I can kill it, right? I mean, it's it's still horrible. So I'm taking 12 damage here. But I, I do have the mana to just kill it with Lantern Flare. I'm one damage off lethal here? Did I miss any attacks earlier? Maybe. When I used the Celebrants on themselves, I could have buffed the 3-1 instead. Which they might not be so keen to attack. I don't know. Um, so supposing that I were to gain four life, I would be at nine. And then I'm still dead if I swing with everything, right? So I have to leave one back. Then I'm not dead. Okay. Actually, hang on. No, I should attack with this one. I was thinking maybe hold that back so I can threaten, like, first strike, but I won't have any mana. And threatening a flicker is not even that amazing. I guess I just play this now, right? I wait till their turn, they might have some weird trick for it. I clearly want to kill Olivia, right? Yeah. Oh, that kills the three two. I could have attacked with everything. I didn't think of that. But I don't know. Blocking one of their 3-2s is good as well, maybe. Okay, they're swinging. Do I block? I could use I could put this on this to make it a five three. So I guess in case they have some like extra like maybe they have sure strike or something, in which case not blocking is gonna kill me. And blocking is gonna win. I mean, it could be a lot worse. Because they have to chump their 4-3 now. Although they don't know it, so maybe they won't. Adam. 
Yeah, but I, I should have attacked with the three with, with the two two on the turn that I killed the Olivia. I probably should have also done two extra damage. It's not like guaranteed that I should do that because, like I said, if they if they had had sure strike, for example, some way to do three extra damage, then I need a blocker back. But but the two extra damage would have given me a lot more outs to lethal them on the next turn. So, right, I could have swung with everything and then sure struck whatever gets through. The Order of Chukai believes that technology is harming the fabric of the spirit realm and have vowed to stop something, something, something. Oh, yeah. We're playing against. Oh, yeah. Uh, this hand is. fine. A little slow. But also I'm on the draw. There's some chance Piercing Light might actually go off. And I do have a two drop and once I can get a third mana, my suitor is great. Ooh. Hmm. Well, I guess maybe we play a mountain instead of a plains then because this is a lot easier. Like there's no way Piercing Light's gonna go off, right? Whereas Bolt might. I guess not. Okay, what's your second color? I vote black. No, it's white, right? It's gotta be white. Red! The spells deck, maybe. All right, pretty happy to have a third land. Um, let's see what this can do. Oh no, really? In a blue-red deck? Wow, okay. That's maybe the grossest thing that could possibly have happened. I was a little worried they were going to counter this or something, but no, it was much worse. Now you're going to counter? I'm getting wrecked by this red-blue deck. I mean, I'm not getting wrecked yet. I'm just a little unhappy. Yep. I don't think I'm supposed to play nothing, like, baiting, you know. I need to just make them spend their counter spells. But it's not working out so hot. What are you tapping a red for? Oh, for blood, probably? Dump a spell to dig up a land? Yeah. Sign is a disturb spell. At least this isn't getting countered. Oh, I'm so afraid to cast infantry on this thing. Like, they're just going to remove it somehow, right? I guess... Hmm. I could wait till I have six mana, and then, like, infantry and adamant will. Plus, this isn't even the creature I want to put in the, in the infantry on. I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to play around a counter spell or a removal or something here.
right, ideally, I would buff something else and then have that thing train the trainee. And there's plenty of stuff that I can use my mana on this turn, so it's not like floating it is horrible. If they play a creature, I can destroy it. No bolts, please. Okay, now they can't have a counter spell. I'm still happy to play a sixth land, especially since I don't have any blood in sight. Oh, they could have Geistlight Snare or something, but they can't pay for that because they don't have any stuff in play. All right, we finally got in there for some damage. But they have a huge hand. I need, like, I need this infantry to do a lot of, uh, not infantry, trainee to do a lot of work. Okay. I guess this is fine. I mean, it's a 1-1. It's not amazing or anything. But it does face damage, and it threatens to do, like, actual attacking combat damage. I don't have any more adamant wills, so if they ever draw a removal or a bounce, I lose the game. But it has to be a removal big enough to deal with a 4-4. It can't be, like, a braid. But Alchemist Retrieval or something, or any damage based, or any non damage based removal? Like what? Uh, actually, hard to think of any in red blue. Well, I'm just gonna kill that. I don't like that they have blood tokens. Still, that's probably like one of the biggest creatures in their deck and we, we were able to deal with it easily. So that's always nice. Okay, that's scary. Uh, what can I do about that? Nothing, right? Seems like a good tap. Okay, that's something. Amazed we managed to spend six mana that turn. And 
and I can knife up my flyer soon. This guy is absolutely stacked. Look at him. Her? Not that it matters, right? But yeah, I guess it... Hard to tell. Could be a long-haired man. Not sure. You know, maybe those of you with better eyes will have seen some obvious, like, you know, <laughs> obvious physiological signs, but I can't really tell. They could be folds in the coat or something. Right, what the hell is that? Rending Flame. I have zero counters, so it doesn't really matter who I give them to. Probably should have played your creature before doing that, if you're playing one. Okay, you're not. Wait till combat if you're going to kill it, of course. Oh, this thing can just... Yeah, of course. in for at least three this turn unless they can kill my thing but any creatures they play come in tapped no no way we're not like by any means guaranteed a victory in fact I, I might say we're behind I have a great board and I'm way up on life but I'm out of resources and it doesn't look like I'm gonna kill my opponent in the next turn or two If I had another Daybreak Combatants that I could draw coming up next, that would be pretty cool, but I can't. Pretty good pickup, actually. Now I have two lethal creatures, and they can't play any untapped creatures. End of the festivities would be pretty funny, but there's no way they're running that, right? Flame Blessed Bolt on one of my... on my 2-2 probably would be a, a great play. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, wait, but it doesn't gain life, Flame. They're just playing it for draw. Okay, that's fine. That's great news. Okay, I mean, the Radiant Grace slash Radiant Restraints has let me get in for two and is letting me get in for a bit more here. Plus it did several damage while it was attached to the trainee. Yeah, they're digging, they're praying. Okay, that's that's an out. It's not removal, but it debuffs one of my creatures. You do have to play it this turn, though. I thought maybe this one? Hmm, I'd rather pay white, actually. I don't think it's likely to matter, but... I might have, like, a suitor or something coming up. Yeah, that's possible. I 
Sure strike is it. I could actually sure strike my Epicure to kill their 6-5 or their 5-5 five five instead of killing the opponent, but I, I don't think there's any reason to do that, right? If they can respond to the sure strike, then I'm gonna like be really sad no matter what, so I might as well have it be that if they can't, then I win the game. I can pay the syncopate. And you can't Geist Light Snare. Retrieval would be pretty good for you, I think. Alright, good game. Yeah, I mean, I said I was behind when they were at 6 life. But the deck, like, I don't know, it drew really well. I got blood tokens just when I needed them. And I dumped lands for meaningful spells. Maybe I had more outs than I realized, and so I wasn't behind. I don't know. It seems like I got lucky on those last couple turns. But maybe it was just, like, slightly above average luck. Radiant Restraints, making its first apparel. appearance. Apparel. What, what was I getting confused with appearance? You know, debut? Um, not sure. Anyway, this is a great hand. Bunch of one drops and some mana. I don't know which one drop to play first. Probably. Probably with the one ones, right? I mean, these guys? No. Because I don't need the blood token right away. Ah, hang on. But I do. I can't, if I open with this, I can't play both of these next turn. So I open like this, and the next turn I can play the other two one drops by putting down the planes. So the colored mana constraints are what, what makes me... Are, are, are what forces me to play in this way. Not the details of whether, like, I want this to activate, you know, on whatever creature. Okay, it's exciting already. <laughs> uh... Yeah, perfectly happy to get rid of a um, mountain. Tap the planes. Like, sure, I want a fourth land, but... Glad I sp hang on, play this first. Glad I spent my mana. So I definitely did not want to draw a bunch of planes, and I didn't have any other use for the mana this turn anyway, so this was the turn to, to use them. I was a little worried that I might end up like short of mana, but as we can see that has not occurred. Yeah, I've drawn a lot of lands. Red, black, sure. You better play some creatures fast. Okay. That's a good one. Um, attack with everything? Pay the... Pay this guy and then have both of these available? 
and like you use both of these to kill their thing in which case i don't want to activate the minister i want to attack with it so that they have two one ones that left unblocked for wanting myself, but I don't want cards, I want the board. And I hate that thing. That thing was a nightmare. Sure, kill it. I've got another. See if I care. Meanwhile, you're taking three damage again. Vampire's Vengeance? No, I have two 1-1s. One Haha. <laughs> okay, sure. Got him. Six wins. Okay, shut up with the rank up. Nobody cares. Let's get moving. Six and one. I never know whether my aggro decks are going to work out well or not. This one has a lot of one drops. That's that's something it's got going for it. And a lot of like fairly okay removal. And also a radiant grace. It's slow, but I can like get out a knife and a reckless impulse at least. I don't know. I think this is this deck can't win if it doesn't do anything until like daybreak combatants on three. I don't think. I think I have to toss this back and look for something more aggressive. Fine. I'm not optimistic, but I think it's better than the uh, than what I had before. Pretty good draw. Do I play the knife or hold up a bowl? I think I play the knife, right? I don't know. Like, I'm not equipping it next turn, right? It's going to be a long time before I do that. I think I'm going to hold the bolt in case they play something that I can kill with it. And if they don't, I can, like... Blood token the infantry looking for more land. I thought that was another forest. <laughs> Uh, apparently it wasn't. It, wow, it's, I like that art for some reason. It looks like very, you know, stark, I guess. Okay, they're running a bunch of different art. This is a 1-1? A one -one? Okay, it does trade with my... Deals 2 damage, okay, I mean... I think I still do this, right? This way it trades for a Bolt and a 1-1 one -one instead of for both 1-1s. One it's not incredible, but... First time I've seen that played as a 1-drop. Or the 1-1, one -one, and it was, it was good. I think they were right to do it.
I don't know if I even want to play them. I might just... Yeah, I probably do. I'm going to need more mana than this. Like, I want to be able to play this guy for four at some point. I could, if I really wanted to, I could dump this and pick it back up as an enchantment. They don't have any red right now, or any greens. They can't activate this. That's worth noting. Uh, I don't think I'm going to throw this away. Okay, good card. Um, knife up the combatants. Attack with everything in combat trick, the 1-1. One, one. Oh, they're not going to make me combat trick. I thought they might block my epic here, because it's reasonable for me to attack even if I don't have a combat trick. But I guess they're dreaming that one day this will get to eat my creatures. Sure. Well, that, that day won't be today, it looks like. Uh, I could definitely dump this. I don't know that I want to. Knife up the 2-2 and swing and... Actually, wait a minute. If I don't knife up and they don't block, then I have five damage from hand plus two is seven. So yeah, no knife nothing. They have to chump the one one to not die. But there's no way they're gonna do that, right? Okay, easy seven. Seven and one. Sort of mysterious. I mean, was this an especially good aggro deck? Or or just like a decent aggro deck that got lucky? I don't know. Seems pretty good. I have a lot of little things. I have some removal. I have draw when I need it. Kind of questionable Radiant Grace, but it was good in one game. All the top end cards were great every time. <laughs> you know, these, these three drops are top end. Um, the Fleeting Spirit was sort of meh, but it was like a 2 mana 3 1, which is fine. And it threatened to do a little bit more once or twice. That's all you can really ask for. The knife squeaked in a little bit of damage. Epicure, star of the show, in a way. Okay, well, there you go. I guess add to decks, right? Celebrate it. Congratulations, you have been inducted into the Hall of Fame. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.